Hey guys, it's Tim Shisa here for TechSpot, and today we'll be giving you our first hands-on look at the LG G Flex 2, which is a brand new smartphone from LG that was first announced at CES 2015. The reason why we're taking a look at the G Flex 2 is all thanks to Yatango and also Mobi City. They are one and the same company that provide smartphones unlocked and outright. If you're in Australia like I am, Yatango shopping is the place for you where you can buy phones like the G Flex 2 right now with quick shipping and fantastic rates. They all also have a mobile phone service, kind of like a phone provider where you can pick and choose your own different bits. It's a little bit like Ting over in the United States, so definitely check them out at yatango.com.au. If you are outside of Australia, Mobi City is the place for you where you can still buy your smartphones unlocked and outright with fantastic rates and fast shipping. You can get the G Flex 2 right now. Check them out at mobicity.com. Anyway, let's get to talking about the LG G Flex 2 itself. Now, this device comes with a 5.5 inch curved P OLED display with a resolution of 1080p, which is an upgrade on the 6 inch 720p model that we saw in the original G Flex. We're also seeing Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 810 SoC, which we expect to be the flagship offering across a range of high-end devices throughout the year. On the rear, there's also a 13 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization and the laser autofocus system from the LG G3. Internally, there's either two or three gigabytes of RAM, depending on whether you get the 16 or 32 gigabyte models in terms of storage. And that of course comes with a micro SD card slot as well. There's a 3000 milliamp hour battery inside, non-removable in this case, and also comes with LTE category nine, thanks to the Snapdragon 810 SoC inside, as well as the usual array of connectivity, including Wi-Fi, AC, Bluetooth 4.1 NFC, and there's also an infrared port on this device for controlling TVs. So as you might have noticed, the G Flex 2's box does come with this interesting spiral pattern around the outside with some brief markings on the top here. Also a brief rundown of some of the main features that you'll find on the bottom. Let's take a look inside where we will find the G Flex 2 sitting atop the box here. It's not all that well packaged to be honest, not too well secured, but here we'll find the G Flex, which we will talk about in just a brief moment. Inside you'll also find underneath this little piece of panelling, however it comes apart, you will find a LG's quick start guide, which gives you a bit of information on the G Flex 2. You'll also find a range of headphones with earbuds and a microphone in line. You'll also find the USB cable in the center there, a standard USB cable, and a fairly large circular charger with the USB port. This one designed for the UK and also Hong Kong. So nothing too exciting inside the box, but a fairly typical show for a smartphone such as this. So here we have the G Flex 2. And the first thing that you'll note about this device is that it looks quite similar from the front to the G3. And that is of course because it comes with a similar sized 5.5 inch display with minimal bezels to either side, although they are slightly larger to the top and bottom. You'll also note that this display is using AMOLED technology as opposed to LCD that we saw on the G3, which makes the blacks of this stock background look a little bit deeper than we're usually used to seeing. It's also just 1080p in terms of its resolution as opposed to 1440p, which means that the G3 does look a little bit more crisp in terms of its resolution. However, I don't think you'll find it too much to complain about when it comes to the 1080p from the G Flex 2. Of course, the main difference between the G3 and the G Flex is the curved display, which means that when you hold the device on an angle like this, you can immediately notice that the display is slightly concave. Now, LG says that this is meant to sculpt better to your hand and also better to your face, but after holding the device for just a couple of minutes, it definitely feels somewhat odd to have that curve there. It feels kind of out of place, and I'm not sure whether it truly is sculpted to your hand like LG makes it seem like it is. Although, of course, after a couple of weeks of usage, when I finally publish the full review of this device, I'll have full impressions on what it is truly like to use a curved display. So on the back of the device here, we have the laser autofocus system, the 13 megapixel camera, and the dual LED flash, as well as the rear buttons, which have become a mainstay on LG's latest flagships. You've got a volume rocker on either side of the power button. Now you might think that this could be a little bit awkward to use in day-to-day -day usage, but after a couple of days of using either the G2, G3, or the G Flex 2, I think you'll be quite accustomed to using those back buttons. Now, of course, you don't have to use the back button to turn the device on. You can simply double tap on the display and it should turn on or enter your knock code 
from the device being powered off and that will automatically unlock it straight to your home screen which is quite a handy addition on LG's devices and you can see those on screen buttons there which of course is a feature of Android 5.0 in that particular style. However, moving back to the back panel, and you'll also see here that there is quite a metallic shine to this back panel. However, it is definitely plastic, and that is because LG has applied a self-healing coating to this back panel, which allows you to scratch it and ding it. Well, probably not ding it, but you can definitely scratch it, and the healing material on the back here will automatically repair those little scratches, keeping it in pristine condition, which is quite a nice feature to see. You also see along the bottom here the rear speaker, and on the bottom panel, you'll find the USB port as well as the 3.5mm audio jack and a microphone, and on the top, a simple IR port for controlling TVs like we've seen with LG's previous devices, and that microphone. And overall, of course, the device's curve makes it quite interesting to use. And finally, I'll just give you a quick software tour of the LG G3. It's running Android 5.0 with LG's standard skin that we have previously seen on the G3, which means it comes with a fairly simple style. Pull down the notification pane and you'll find some of the quick settings that LG allows you to use here and you can easily access the rest of the settings by pressing that settings button. You can switch apps using the standard app switcher by pressing that button there, the square button or app switcher button. It comes with standard things like an app tray and not too much bloatware for an LG device. You've got a range of other things such as, of course, I showed you before the knock code, but there is also a peak which allows you to pull down from the top of the device there when it is off to show you things like the time and any notifications that you have will also appear up in that top panel. And then, of course, you can double tap, enter your knock code and access the full device. So that is one of the clever features that LG has implemented with the G Flex 2 and the Android 5.0 update. The G Flex 2 also comes with some of the standard features that we've seen from LG's previous skins, such as Smart Note which gives you handy tips about the upcoming day right here on the home screen and of course you get the full range of Android 5.0 features including Google Now which you can set up and do all that sort of stuff accessible by the Google search widget and there is a range of features and settings that you can go through here such as controlling the lock screen controlling the home buttons if you want to have them in a different orientation and a range of other things that you can all explore in the G Flex's features. So I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the LG G Flex 2. Don't forget to check back on techspot.com in the coming weeks for the full review and of course check back on this YouTube channel for the video review so don't forget to subscribe. Thanks to our friends over at yatango.com.au for sending over the G Flex 2 for me to review. Don't forget to check them out for all the latest and greatest phones unlocked and outright. Thanks guys for checking this out. I'll be back in the near future. Thanks for watching.